good morning i just wanted to do this mommy glam a quick look on the go i got up a little bit early so i just wanted to show you guys like when i have time to do makeup what i do so we're gonna move very quickly so this is not gonna be a tutorial this is a little get ready with me mom glam edition i'm gonna prime my face this is the milk hydro grip and i'm just gonna take a good amount of that and work it in my face good morning everyone let me fix my hair how's everybody doing this morning but like i said this is a quick mommy glam look on the go real quick with you guys hello hello good morning um so i'm going in with the uh, nyx total control drops and i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation so this is gonna this is a little bit of a darker shade so this is gonna help me color correct and also give me a nice base i'm just gonna put some on my face let's see the more drops you use the more coverage right Okay, I'm gonna go on with my brush because I want to maximize this coverage and then I'll go on my Beauty Blender to remove any excess. And this shade is a little bit warmer, but I don't mind um, getting warmer shades of foundation. It's easy for me to neutralize it with concealer okay so that base let me say hi to everybody in the room you want to bring it down your neck of course i just have to run some errands um hopefully i can get out the door and i need to run to the post office um and walgreens and then I got um, some stuff to drop off at the Goodwill. And this is the Morphe M439 brush that I use. So I'm happy with that. And let me spray some of my perfume, my favorite perfume before I forget. All right, so we've done that. I like to clean up as I go, so. And then I'm gonna go on with my concealer. Did I not get my concealer out? It's okay. I'll use this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in Honey. I really love this concealer. And this isn't like, um, this is just gonna be an everyday look, super simple. Just maximizing your complexion products. to give me a little um, pick-me-up. Oh, here's my elf one. <laughs> Taking a blender. And this blender is actually from Shop Masse. They are really good and affordable. You get a bag of six for like $9 and they are super soft. I wish you guys can feel how soft these are. I ordered these from Amazon. These are um, so hard. I probably won't even use these. But that is something I definitely would check out, guys. Shop Mathe. They're called Wonder Blenders, I believe. They are. What's up, okay? I'm not going to do cream contour. I'm just going to do um, bronzer. Excuse me. And if you're um, new to makeup or interested in learning some techniques, I do offer virtual makeup classes. You can email me. I'll actually um, be posting that as well. And I have some more um, services I offer. offer. 
I do bridal makeup and photo shoot makeup. So if you have an event or um, a photo shoot, you need a makeup artist, hit me up, me an email. I would love to help you out. I'm just looking in the big mirror behind you guys. What is going on here? Let me just put a little something here. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at a text message. So I'll put a little here and a little on my mouth. A little bit more coverage. Just a little bit of coverage, especially in those dark spots. Let me get in frame. Sorry, guys. Okay, let me step back a little bit so you can see. So this is what I'm looking like. I am definitely doing a minimalistic look today. So I'm going to go with my new favorite brow gel, the Brow Glue from NYX. Thank you. Um, I love this stuff, guys. You should definitely try it out. It's been, it, it sells out so quick. So, so quick. We're just doing a super quick, 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 quick look. I just want to get a little together today. Um, me being a mom of two toddlers is definitely tough. And, but just navigating through it, like even me doing this live, like I literally got up, was like, oh, let me take a shower. And then I'm just one of those random people. I just go live. I don't have no rhyme or reason. <laughs> But if I have a few minutes to myself and I feel up to doing it, I want to be on live because I'm trying to grow my brand and uh, let you guys see more of my personality and, um, yeah, just put myself out there a little bit more. We're not doing an overdone look today. Just super simple. I always want to make... Um, ladies or anyone who loves makeup if you're on my page or if you follow me i don't want to make you feel like you can't achieve your own level of glam everyone has different talents and everyone has a different way they want to look when it comes to makeup so i always want to come off relatable and um my techniques are easy to understand and anyone can do them. You see, I just want to do a little something. I don't want to get too crazy because me, I'll be in here painting my face, <laughs> which is not a bad thing, but just don't have the time all the time to do it. So I am, I'm so bad. I mean, I'm going to lightly set my face. I have normal to dry skin, so I don't like to over set my face I'm gonna take this elf blush brush I love this brush it's for blush but I use it for my under eyes I'm gonna lightly set my under eye Just lightly. And I'm using my Derma Blend. It's in this canister. I put this, this was the rest of the powder I had when I went back home. I went to visit my family about a month ago. So I still have all my makeup pretty much in my traveling case, which is fine. Makes it easier um, for me to um, keep it organized and prevents my kids from getting into it. <laughs> so 
We're just lightly setting the face. And I don't like to over uh, set my face. I'm gonna leave some of that um, real skin luminosity to it. So I'm gonna go with my flesh stick. This is in Twitch. Did I say flesh? Yeah, flesh. Flesh highlighting stick. I have just been loving this lately. And I'm just gonna blend that, blend that, blend it, blend it. On my hands first. And then I'll go on with the sponge. I like to put a little under my eyes just to give me that little bit of that lift, lift of light. Lift of light. You see? Oh, see that? It's just, just enough, you know? And I'm gonna do the same. Okay. Just add a little bit more on your actual, on my actual cheekbone. On my actual cheekbone, which is, oops, right here. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that sponge. I just wanna do a little bit of a beat today. Hi, what's up? <laughs> I was talking and trying to uh, get up early this morning. I was in a routine before I traveled of getting up early and this is a lot, <laughs> but I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better. Okay, so this is what my base is looking like so far, guys. Super simple, super easy. Then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is, which one is this? This is the Makeup Revolution Dark Bronzer and I have a review. Yeah, thanks for watching. Excited to get to hang out with you soon. Yeah, one day at a time is definitely the truth. So we, no, so I am just putting that on underneath that um, cream highlight because this is going to serve as my bronzer and my blush. Like I said, I want to show on my mommies that follow me, that you can still get a little together. I don't get, I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I like to do a little something. Especially if I'm gonna take the effort to put my contacts in. I wanna look a little, little awake, a little alive. Okay, take that, you know, hit that, hit that little extra love down there. Hit that. I'm just gonna get the sun clip, sun kiss glow. Okay. Yes. And I already can tell I want a little bit more light, a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go on with my um, Studio Fix Powder in NC50 and put a little under my eye just to give me a little bit of brightness and kind of um, tap around that bronzer. So, so not so much of a line of demarcation where that bronzer stops. Just to give me a little bit of a lift and kind of put some on the sides of my nose. And around that bronzer on my face. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go on with my face powder just a little bit. This is the True Match powder. I love this powder. This is another e.l.f. brush and just go around the face where I didn't set or put any um, powder at. And just set the rest of the face. 
I'm just using a little bit of powder. Like I said, or like I always say, I don't like to do an over powdered face because I have normal to dry skin and I don't want to have a super dry, dry face. Okay. Okay, everything is looking good. And if I feel like I over blend, I will just go back in and kind of bring some of that back. I might use a little bit of a powder highlighter. I'm just going to use some Mara Podesta spray. I got these cool little spray bottles. Um, I bought these for my kit and just traveling in general. These are awesome. And the, the mist is so nice. Get it going. Oops, did I spray the wrong one? Oof. Okay, let that dry down. Okay, we've done brows. Let me go in with eyeshadow. I just want to do a simple, simple look. Nothing too crazy. All right. Should have brought my fan in here. Let's see. I have so much new makeup to try. I'm going to go on with my Makeup Forever palette. I love this. This is like my staple palette. And I'm just going to do a little, just a little light brown smoky eye. Well, actually... I have this Kiko cream stick here, and I want to put that on. On the lid. And then I'll use that Makeup Forever shade to blend it out. It's a nice, pretty shimmer. So I know I'm making do this in like 20 minutes, but of course I'm talking to you guys. So the time isn't going to be true. But this is what this color is. What color is this? Oh, what's wrong with me? Zero five? Hmm. Not sure what color that is, guys. Okay, I took some of that... Um, what is that? Like a terracotta brown from Makeup Forever on this brush. And I'm just going to blend out the edges lightly and then take it around my under eye and just kind of smoke it out a little bit with this brown. I should have brought my little mini fan to dry my face. But I'm just kind of blending the shimmer into the mat. So it looks seamless. Just want a little wash of color. I don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to take that same brown and just hook it around my under eye. Hmm. I wonder why that sprayer came on so far. Sprayed a little too much, but that's okay. Okay. I 
think I'm happy with the eyes. I just wanted to do something very light because I can go really into eyeshadow and really get in and do like a something really soft glam, but I just don't have the time today. I wanted to show you guys just a quick look. Okay, so this is the eyes. Something super simple. And this is, that color is more like a champagne lilac color. And then I use the terracotta brown out of my Makeup Forever palette. And I just put it above the color and then I just put it around my lower lash line. And I'm just going to take some mascara. I'm not going to do lashes today. Thank you. Yeah, I can get really into the artistry so i try to learn to do these simple looks and kind of perfect them i just love this mascara you see my lashes like i just love this this is the lash princess by essie gotta hit the um lower lash line look at that that's cute huh well, this this mascara is definitely it. I'm just wiggling, getting in there, wiggling those lashes. And it's okay if you get some on your lid. You can always fix that later. Okay, I'm gonna get a little on my lid. I did. That's okay. I'll lightly fix that with a color. Let me see. This is the only other palette I have in here. Let me see. I'll just take an eyeshadow and kind of cover up that mascara and just add a little bit more dimension. Yeah. I'm just gonna add a little of this shade and put a little in the tear duct to kind of set that cream and also cover up the mascara <laughs> mistake I made. See who's showing you this you guys this stuff? Like this is real stuff. I'm a real person, and then even though I do makeup and I love makeup, I am not perfect. You see, I just covered it right on up. I'm not dragging it, I'm just patting it gently. But I like the eyeshadow, it just gave the look a little bit more, mm. Okay. I take this is um, I'll show you the palette in a second. Just hooking it around. Okay, and yeah, it just gave it a little bit more. Oomph. I've been really using this Wet n Wild color icon palette. Which one is this? I don't know which one this is. I guess the new browns. But remember when Wet n Wild was a shit back in the day? Like it was the like, and it, wet mosh uh, palettes were so hard to find because everybody loved them. <laughs> okay, so I'm loving the eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go in and just do a little bit more powder on um, my face. Just a little bit under the eye. Okay. And then I'm going to take my... Sorry guys, I'm just doing gloss, so we are almost done. I'm just showing you how you can do a quick look, quick, quick look. Okay, where's my highlighter? And this highlighter I've been loving lately. This is the Maybelline um, Master Chrome um, Highlighter in Topaz. I'm just going to add a little... To my face and just hook it around a little under the eye, a little on the 
chin. A little on the forehead. I'm gonna hit that brow bone. I didn't do concealer under the brows today. And I will just go in with that brush again and just tap around the edges. Sorry, you can't see. And okay. Boom. I'm just gonna fluff my hair. I'm so proud of myself, guys. I organized my um, bathroom drawers, and it's just mostly my stuff, not even my husband. So I, it's really me. I was the problem. I had too much stuff. I got rid of a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna fluff out my hair. How many days does this wash and go? This is a uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four day of wash and go. I did um, moisturize it. And I did add a little shea butter to the ends today for shine and just to seal in the moisture that I got this from the steam after my shower. Ooh, what is that? After my shower, I um, just sealed in that moisture that my hair got from the steam in the shower. Makeup on me. I just, um, you always want to make sure, tip, you always want to make sure you keep your hair stretched if you're going to take a shower. So I had stretched my hair, put it in um, some little ponytails and stretched it so it wouldn't shrink. So I got my shower hot on purpose to stretch my hair pretty much. Okay. Okay. Loving this. And then I'm gonna go in, actually, let me do a little liner with you guys. I'm, see, this is like, I get too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little liner. I just like to do it like a thin. Not necessarily doing a wing, I'm just doing a thin line. You see that? And it just gives my lashes, makes them look a little bit thicker. Thank you. I'm using, um, what did I use in my hair today? Or what did I use for my, um, let me show you. Just in my shower. I used the Tali YG Curl Definer um, for my wash and go as the curl definer. With a curl styler, and then I used um, Edge Booster gel. But I would recommend if you use that gel, don't go heavy handed because it's very, very drying. Like I normally use this, you can use this by itself if you have like close to my hair texture or 4C or whatever you want to say your hair type is. It's, it gives you a nice hold and keeps your hair moisturized. That's why I love this. And I pair this with the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave In bomb every time I, when i buy these i buy like at least three at a time because i put it in everybody's hair i put it in my son's hair my daughter's hair my hair my husband's hair when i can do his hair um just love it but you see sorry i went on a look y'all know i love hair makeup everything beauty <laughs> but you see the difference between this eye and that eye it just it just ties it together just a little bit more. So let me do this. Okay, talking too much, that's okay though. I'm just gonna go in with that brush and kind of clean up a little bit. 
you can clean up that liner with the eyeshadow. Okay. So these are the eyes, guys. Okay. How am I looking with the hair and the eyes? Okay. If I say so myself. Okay, clean up as I go. I wanted to try the Born to Glow. I put these in my kit and they are really good. And then I bought myself some. I found these on clearance at Walmart for four bucks. Had to pick them up. But we um I'm almost out of here, guys. Just cleaning up a little bit. Alright, alright. Got my sponge. Eh? Put those there. Hopefully soon I can get to this KVD foundation. Um, it's just, it's hard. And this Huda Beauty palette is going to be off trend before I get to it. <laughs> That's okay though. I think I'm just going to do either the Fenty Gloss or... Yeah, Fenty Gloss or this next, this Milky Gloss, these two. I might go with this one. I'm just seeing my liner. Let me do a little liner just for the contrast. And then I'm going to be gone. This is Matt Chestnut, of course. It's the only one I have my kit. The Fenty Gloss. I like the Fenty Gloss. This is my first Fenty Gloss. Uh, yeah, I like the new uh, NYX glosses. I love those ashy, like, tones. I do, uh, did pick up the Fenty uh, Tinted Moisturizer. I do like it. See, this is uh, Waffles. What is this? What, what? I know this is Waffles and something. Honey Waffles. Such a pretty shade. Her glosses are so good. And I have a liquid lip too. So far the things I've tried from Fenty I really like. So here is my mommy glam. A look on the go. So normally this would take me maybe less than 20 minutes to do. But of course I'm talking to you guys. So it's going to take me a little bit longer because I'm chit-chatting and explaining what I'm doing. But this is the look, guys. So I hope you like it. Super simple, super easy. And if you have a nose ring, I always forget this, but clean your nose ring. So it's popping, especially if you're going to take pictures. But yeah, guys, um, I'm not going to set my face again. Still a little tacky, or spray my face again, I should say. Still a little tacky, but thanks for watching and joining me for a minute. I'm gonna get out. Hopefully, I can still run my errands. If not, I'll just have to do it when my kids take a nap later. But thanks for joining me. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this live. Um, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Teddy Marie, and of course, follow me on here. Follow my Emmy Way page, Traces by Teddy Marie. And I appreciate you, appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next live. Bye.